Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. I would like to say greetings in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. My name is John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for how you've woken us up today, Lord, and clothed in our right mind, Lord. And we just want to worship you, Lord, for who you are. Lord, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for waking me up. I thank you, Lord God, Lord. I just want to give you glory and honor and praise, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, for those that are sick in body, Lord God, Lord, those that are still fighting this pandemic, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord, that you would touch body, Lord. We rebuke that coronavirus in Jesus' name. Lord, the, as, the, as the scripture says, by his stripes, we are healed. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for what you have done thus far, Lord. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would just bless our, our coming together, Lord. Bless this podcast. Lord, let it be uh, edifying and glorifying your name, Lord. And whatever's accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor, Lord. Bless the hearers, Lord. Bless the listeners, Lord, that are listening to this podcast. We pray, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord, that the hearers what god would um will receive it lord lord we don't want it to fall on thorny grounds lord god lord but we want to let it what the word of god fall on good ground and lord whatever's accomplished lord we give a praise for it all lord bless the message lord anoint this episode lord in jesus name amen amen well thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast and this is the way to eternal life coming to you over all the major podcast station um we just want to say thank you so much for tuning in each and every time um just thank you so much for, for um for what you for taking time out of your day taking time out of your business schedule to come and hear the grafted word uh, for all the responders and for those that are on the front line, we're praying for you that God will keep you safe and that um, we pray for for safety and those that are mourning for loss of loved ones, not necessarily through the coronavirus, but those that are mourning the loss of loved ones, we are praying for you. The Bible says, blessed are the mourner, for they shall be comforted. So we want to comfort you. To We're praying for you. And continue to trust God through everything. At this time, um, we do have a song selection. We pray that this song will be a blessing to you. And Lord's willing, we'll be right back after this song. May God bless you. I was nothing. I had nothing to give. No song to sing and no lie to live who was i how could i choose the lord but from the multitude the lord chose me and there were millions in the world who were so much better than I. But he chose me, why he chose me, I'll never know. My Jesus chose me with him I'll go unto all Jesus calls though tenderly he died to give a life eternally Jesus 
died for me, for him I'll live. And there were millions in the We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum li listenership. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. Amen, amen. There were millions in this world. And uh, was so much better than I. While he chose me, while he chose me. <laughs> to this day, I'll never know. But, but he chose me and for him, I will go. And for him, I will live. We, we thank you so much for that selection. And hopefully that's... That song was a blessing to you. Hopefully it encouraged you that, that he did not have to choose you. He did not have to choose you. Out of all the things that, we, that you dealt with in this world, and that he chose you of all people, for you to, for, to give you a chance to live a life free from sin. He gave you that choice. He gave you a choice to live this life. And for you to throw it away, shame on you. Well, at this time, before we get into the Word of God, I would like to make it just kind of like a, a brief little encouragement to you all um, those that have been tuning into the podcast lately we just thank you so much like we said tremendously for coming into this um, to the podcast each and every time um, the great good good news that we have we are actually available now on um, YouTube so you can actually listen to our podcast on YouTube you can also listen to our podcast on uh, uh, so many different platforms. We got Google Play now. 
um, Lord's willing, um, we're going to uh, be on Pandora. Lord's willing, we're also going to be on um, iHeartRadio. We just yeah, so now you can actually tune in to like all the major platforms. We're just, I am just so grateful and so excited and I'm honored. But at the same time, I'm here to let you know that I am standing in the fear of God. And what I teach to you and what I preach to you all, that I am not preaching of for my own personal gain and for my own personal use. I'm doing it because I want to be a blessing to those that are around me and those who um, might be either uh, sin sick. You are sin sick. And we're here to encourage you that you don't have to live in sin. You don't have to stay in sin. You don't have to be in sin. You don't have to keep on smoking dead the day after day after day. There is a solution to every problem. Every problem always has a solution, and that solution is only found in Jesus. Jesus is the problem solver. He's the healer. He can heal you from your emotional stress and from your mental stress and from your physical stress. He is the healer. That's why, that's why the, song, uh, the, the Bible teaches that he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity and for the chastisement of us that by his stripes we are healed. I thank God for that. I thank God for healing my sin sick soul. I appreciate that. I appreciate how that God is is moving in such a way, but he's still getting people's attention. And at this time, we're going to go into the word of God today. And what little time we do have, we're going to, um, we do have a, a, a small lesson that the Lord laid upon our hearts today. And we pray that this lesson will be a blessing to you. Um, get your Bibles out. Don't just take my word for it. You know, a lot of people tell a lot of stories and they tell a lot of fairy tales and everything else, but this is no time for fairy tales. This is not... The Bible is more than just a book. It's more than just words of wisdom. It's life. It teaches us how to be holy. Do you understand that? It teaches us how to be holy. How to live like God in this present world. It teaches us that. It teaches us. It has a teaching behind it. It's more than just just, just, just get saved. Just get saved is not all. Just saying you're a Christian if the word Christian sometimes gets a little get a little loose. Everybody says I'm a Christian, but are you living like what Christ will have you to live? What do you mean by that, Brother Gil? Well, I'm here to let you know that if you are cussing, that's not Christ. You say you want to live just like Christ. The word Christian means Christ-like, just like Christ. Or be a follower of Christ. A follower of Christ does not cuss. A follower of Christ does not uh, um, do, um, does not, not only does it not commit sin, but it don't cuss. It don't lie. Come on. It don't lie. Christ don't divide. People divide, but Christ don't divide. His church is not divided. We don't bring disgruntledness in the church. Come on. Christ don't divide. Christ don't drink. I didn't even talk about like drinking coffee or drinking, you know, like soda pops and all that or drinking water, although we need to drink more water. But that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about that fermented stuff. What, what's that fermented stuff that he's preferring to? I'm talking about alcohol, vodka, whiskey, Bloody Marys, beer, 
That's not God. Well, they say, well, Jesus drank wine. No, Jesus, yeah, it does say that, that Jesus did drink wine, but Jesus did not drink the fermented stuff that will cause you to go, that you, and you're not even in your right mind. See, when you, when you drink uh, that alcohol, whatever that alcohol is, it messes your mind up. It'll make you, you'll get a certain buzz that you, that'll take a while. And once you, once you uh, come off of that buzz, you get a huge hangover. Christ, you never said, never read in the scriptures where it said Christ had a hangover. No. Christ is our perfect example. If he, if he did no sin, then what are we doing sinning? If he says he did no sin, then what are we doing sin? Come on. What are we doing cussing if he says that don't do that? What are we doing having sex outside of marriage? That's not God anyways. Who did no sin? This is not the message, but I thought somebody might, have, might need to hear that. Okay, so let's break it down. Um, this is not really part of the message, but uh, I feel that uh, I feel that we need to touch on this for a brief moment. So let's turn to First uh, Peter chapter two, and we're going to break this down a little bit. First Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one. For even, un, un, e, for even here unto where ye call, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us, listen now, leaving us an example that we should. The word should mean you need to do this. This is, a, this is, a, this is more than just a recommendation that we should. If he left you a blueprint, you should follow that blueprint. Who follow in his steps. We should follow in his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. What's that guile means? Well, if you want to say it this way, the word guile is in, interpreted as being... Um, there was no deceit in his mouth. There was no lying in his mouth. There was no... Um, uh, uh, um, um, cussing coming out of his mouth and all of this, that, and the other. There was no deceit found in Christ's mouth. Who, when he was reviled, he reviled not again, but he suffered and threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. So in other words, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this too: when he when he was reviled. He didn't have that get back spirit like some of us do. When somebody do us wrong, we're going to go, we're going to uh, get back at them. If he says that he did no sin, this is, the, this is the apostle Peter, and he walked with Christ. And he says, if you want to do the same thing that Christ is doing, you got to follow what he did, what he did. If he's our perfect example, why shouldn't we not follow that perfect example? That's why we can, that's why we emphasize we can live without committing sin. Why? Because I don't want to fail God. I don't want to commit sin. And you should neither. If you're saved, you don't want to commit sin. You don't want to let the God that gave you a chance to be with him, to be, to be a re in a relationship with him, you don't want to break his heart. That's why we can't live without committing sin. Because God gives us the grace that we don't have to do it. Yes, we have a nature. But that's why it says, I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means that I preach to others that I myself may not become a castaway. 
You got to make your flesh act right. No, I am not going to do that, devil. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going gonna, I'm not gonna to buy cigarettes for somebody else. Come on. I'm not going to buy no cigarettes. No, why? Because Christ lives in me. Because when Christ is in you, you it will cause you, the Bible says, it will cause you to walk in his statutes and to do his judgment. Not only just keep his judgment, but to do his judgment. It will cause you to walk that way. When you truly accept him as your Lord and personal Savior, it will cause you to do things that you, the things, the, the, the Apostle Paul said it this way. He said, the things that I love, now I hate. The things that I hate, now I love. In other words, um, I used to love partying. I used to love going high. I used to love cussing people out. Every two, three seconds, I always got to cuss somebody out. Every time I get mad, I always got to say the F-bomb and all this other stuff. But now, I don't do that no more. Now I can take my problems, glory to God, to Jesus. And he can solve it. That's why we sing the song that uh, salvation makes us happy be here, surpassing that all the earth holds you, and it fills the droopy heart with cheer. It satisfies my soul. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to commit sin. I don't want to do what the, what the devil wants me to do, because I love God. I love Christ. Just like in a marriage, when you really love your wife or your, uh, and vice versa, if you love your spouse, don't you realize you'll do anything in the world to please them, Right? When you're so in love with them, then you don't want to break their heart. Cheating will never be in nobody's vocabulary if you love someone more than enough. Come on. So in other words, when you love God more than enough, it will cause you not to, com to fail him. It will cause you to walk in his stature. It will cause you to praise our God. It will cause you to... Uh, uh, um, um, Want to get closer to him. Want to be more like him. How can I, uh, what, it will cause you to say, how much more can I please you, God? I want you to be so proud of me. That's not the message, but that was encouraging. But uh, let me finish this out. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body, verse 24, on the tree that we. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at Contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuously episodes. And now, here is John Gill with The Final Thoughts. Lord, my friends, I am so burdened for you. If you're hurting, you're angry, you're upset, you're frustrated. And there is no end in sight. Do you want help? Do you really want help? Jesus is here for you today. With arms open wide. But who wants him? Don't push him away. Don't blow him off. Don't say, oh well, 
is for the next person. No, if you're not where you ought to be in God, that's the time to seek him more. That's the time to really get before him even more. A lot of people are pushing God off as though he is nothing. What are you going to do about it? Are you pushing him away? It is time right now. It's time. If you want true deliverance from the powers of sin, the true deliverance from the alcohol, the true deliverance from cussing, the true deliverance from anything that you are dealing with right now, if you want to be delivered right here, right now, it is time to cry out before God and say, God, help me, deliver me from this spirit right here and right now. It isn't, it isn't a 12-step program. It's just one step to Jesus. If you mean it from the depths of your heart, God will deliver you from that spirit in, instantaneously. And you will feel a load lifted off of you. You'll be like, oh my God, I cannot believe that this happened. I carried this load for so long and now I'm happy. Now I got joy. True joy. The, 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 the song point says, true joy is mine since I left the dreary way. Don't you want true joy? The Bible says, godly sorrow worketh repentance not to be repented of. In other words, my friends, the word repent means I am sorry for hurting God's heart. I don't know what you're dealing with, but it's time to give it to God. If you have given your heart and life to him, I'd like to hear from you. Email me and contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or um, like us on Facebook and leave a comment there saying I have given my heart and life to him. I have rededicated my life to him. i like to hear from you. And once again, as always, but before we do, before we end this podcast, I want to say a prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. The people right now have heard the word. They heard the message. Lord, I'm not sure what anyone is going through right now. But Lord, we pray for deliverance even now. We pray that they will be delivered from the power of sin. We pray that those that are saved right now, even now, We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just um, help them, Lord, to in their walk with you. And those that don't know you from from the free part of the sin, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would convict their hearts, Lord. Lord, help them, Lord, to get to the point where they'll say, what must I do to be saved? Lord, you are here with arm open wide. But Lord, there are people that are pushing you off even now, and they're ignoring you. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would just, Lord, just deal with their hearts even now. Backsliders, oh God, Lord, help the backslider to come back to you before the everlasting too late. And Lord, whatever's accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise for it all, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. And once again, my name is John Gill, and there is a way to eternal life. May God richly bless you. As we bring this broadcast episode to a close, we would like to leave this scripture from the word of God with you. But God commanded his love towards us, in that while we were yet still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Thank you for listening and may God bless and keep you.